Level 1 Computex 2019 coverage is made possible by ASRock. Yes, ASRock has sponsored our travel to come out to Computex. So I want to say thanks to ASRock. They've got a lot of new exciting products here at Computex. Not the least of which is X570. All of their X570 motherboards in the full lineup. We're going to have a video on that. You should check that out. There's a link in the description. Definitely check out their products. They've also got the uh, Steel Legend, the Z390. So, you know, if you're Team Red or Team Blue, it doesn't really matter. There's something there for you no matter no matter what although you know things are getting kind of interesting at this computex also I want to say a big thanks to team group team group they've got a lot of new exciting ssds and ram and all kinds of stuff and they also sponsored our travel out to computex so all of our computex coverage for 2019 are thanks to those guys because you know they they made it so we could get here which is really awesome now team group is uh it's pretty exciting we've got a full video of all the stuff that they've got going on at their booth i've been using team group for many many years all the way back to like i think the ddr2 or ddr3 days check them out there's a link in the description i'm here at computex 2019 in the team group booth and we've got all kinds of new stuff ssds and memory and just even usb like you can get usb sticks and it's, it's all kinds of exciting now first up is rgb and the, you know sort of the t-force twist on rgb because we've got a lot of t-force products there's uh there's no denying that rgb sells and so team group has done some interesting things with their products as far as rgb integration goes one of the most exciting products is an rgb hub that will interface with the motherboard. It gives you a RGB for both 5 and 12 volts as well as a traditional 12 volt output for older RGB devices. So if you've got a motherboard that has 5 volt outputs but you want to use 12 volt peripherals, well you can do that. But being able to have one controller that speaks both 5 and 12 volts in the digitally addressable vernacular of RGB, well, okay, I could kind of see that. Also, USB sticks. Like, I wasn't expecting to find any USB memory storage devices here, but there's actually a lot of really interesting USB storage devices. So, a compass, a bottle opener, uh, there's also a ruler with like, you know, and it's all metal construction, it's all really high end. But the PS4, the PS4 is probably what's going to be most popular with, with you guys. I mean, console gaming, it's like slim and you can't get the, you know, not necessarily every USB stick is going to go in there. Yes, we've entered a realm where there's RGB on USB sticks. But the RGB indicator has to do with how much uh, free space you have. So it's going to turn red when you're getting low on space, and it's going to go from green to yellow. But you've also got the rainbow effect, so that's a pretty cool feature for a USB stick, you've, you've got to admit. Now in terms of their new SSDs and their new memory, that's more along what I was interested in, because we've got the new platform, we've got the new stuff from AMD, and AMD's got PCI Express 4.0. Well, Team Group's got you covered. There's brand new PCIe M.2 SSDs. It's PCI Express by four, uh, four lanes, PCI Express 4.0. So that's 64 gigabits per second or eight gigabytes per second interface speed. Now, I haven't benchmarked these. I've got to do that. That's on my to-do list now to, to actually take a look at this. Maybe build a RAID set out of these because when you've got PCI Express 4.0 in terms of like how much platform bandwidth you have, you can really do a lot with that versus uh, PCIe Gen 3 and even Gen 2 on the older AM platform. So I think that AM4 is going to be pretty interesting uh, for, uh, for this Computex. There's also the memory side of things. So there's RGB memory, but kind of flying under the radar are the memory sticks that actually have won some awards and they're really high speed. So we're talking like 4600, 4400, something like that in terms of the clock speed. Now again, I haven't tested those, but it's a really exciting time when you've got DDR4 memory. It's like, oh yeah, four gigahertz plus. That's common, that's a thing now. So four gigahertz memory on DDR4. With RGB, without RGB, they're both award winners. It doesn't really matter. You can get higher, you know, high end, high performance memory in DDR4 and it's basically good to go. They've also got this cool concept PC, which has their new uh, RGB SSD, which is a sort of an ARGB, but it's a little bit different take on the previous model. Now, some of the products in this computer are uh, concept parts, I guess you would say. My favorite thing is actually the fan, the fan with the LEDs where it's got like the rotating T-Force logo. I kind of like that. Like, I don't, I'm not usually like super into RGB, but I could go for the spinning logo thing. I just want to put my own logo on there or something. I don't, I don't know. It's... It's sort of an exciting time that, uh, you know, maybe maybe the fruit of RGB has, has borne something. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. 
The heat sinks are copper foil and graphene, which is my third favorite form of carbon. Of course, Steve Group's also showing off a lot of custom builds here. You want a Fanta PC? You can get a you know a Fanta PC. That they have the liquid cooled SSDs. Now, the, these liquid cooled SSDs, the liquid is not actually part of your loop, um, but you can change the color of the fluid. So it's a heat sink. It's an aluminum heat sink, and there's a thermal pad, and you can swap out the fluid, and it acts almost like a thermal capacitor because the way these SSDs work, especially the new PCI Express 4.0 SSDs. They'll get insanely hot when you're using them, and then they'll cool off really quickly when you're not using them. So if you use it for too long, time will tell. That's something we're going to have to put to the test, I think, because liquid cooled, I don't know, but PCI Express 4.0 does kind of change the game a little bit in terms of the controller and heat production. Now, these SSDs are Fison, and uh, yeah, I mean, check out the cool cases and the cool builds. It's a lot of fun. Team Group, T-Force stuff. I've done some reviews of T4 stuff. I've been pretty impressed so far. Team Group's been around forever. They're breaking out into the uh, the RGB thing. They're doing a little bit more marketing, so kudos. I'm Wendell, this is level one, and there's more Computex coverage on the way. Thanks again, Team Group, for sponsoring your travel.